Hi guys, so this feels very weird for me because it's been about three weeks somewhere in that ballpark since I've actually have sat down and done a sit down video, done a sit down haul. Um, a lot of you know that I have recently moved and if you're new to my channel and you just kind of like came uh, because you love Amazon videos, I have a lot of videos um, talking about the move. I did move to a different state. So I lived in Texas, I moved to Florida. So in case you wanna know more about the move, all of that has been filmed. And I also have a vlog channel too, by the way, but today's video is gonna be an Amazon haul. Plus I have some of the things like here physically with me to show you guys, but what I really kind of intended for today's video was to do just like a what I've been ordering kind of video. And so I'll just be throwing up pictures because a lot of it, one, it's either like still in a box and I haven't unpacked it or two, it's actually just not here yet. But I do have a lot to share with you guys. So moving into this new space, I've, you know, been uh, decorating just kind of according to the space, things that we didn't like have in the previous house that we have here. So it's probably gonna be a very long video. So if you just kind of like need to save it and come back whenever you need to like get cozy, this is definitely a cozy video. Blanket, coffee, tea, drink, soda, whatever, wine. This is probably that video because I'm not gonna try to rush it. Um, but anyways. That's what we're gonna do, so let's get started. All right, so let's let's start with what I do have on hand. So the first one is actually a set of curtains and this color is absolutely stunning. I haven't, as you can see, I have not even unpacked this at all, but I knew the moment it came in, I didn't even need to like open it. I just knew it was the perfect color. And this I did get for my formal dining room. Um, yeah. Also part of moving into this house, I've wanted to kind of decorate a little bit differently. Plus I left the curtains in the last house. It makes sense because they would they only fit like those windows. All right, this next item is kind of cryptic, but you won't have to wait very long to kind of see how I'm going to use them. So these were just a packet of bandanas and I'll just go ahead and shuffle through the colors that you get in this one pack. Um, it's sometimes it's kind of like pointless posting Amazon prices because they just change all the time. But I did get these for a very specific purpose, which you guys will get to see on the 23rd of June. So definitely come back um, because I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm going to do with them. I did post on my Instagram the bandanas and I asked you guys there what you thought I was going to use them for. And a lot of you guys guessed part of it. You guessed that they were for Loki and you are absolutely correct. They are for Loki, but that's all I can say. That's all I can say. But today, I mean, the time that you're watching this, you really won't, will have to go like a week, I think, before you see why I end up using those. All right, next up, a lot of you just already know if you've been following all the moving vlogs, all the moving stuff, I've had to get all new hair tools because I accidentally left mine at the house. And yeah, it was just one of those things where I already talked about it. I really didn't have anybody in town that could have like gone to get them. So it's just, so anyways, I'm having to buy a new blow dryer, straightener, curling irons, and I loved the set I had. I just don't remember. But so I picked up this straightener right here now, if you watch my vlogs, is it not focusing? If you watch my vlogs, I showed you like a one inch one and I didn't decide to keep it. I wanted to go for the inch and a half. So that's what this is. I was just doing a scroll. I was just trying to find some type of sunscreen for my face that I thought was on the healthier side. A lot of sunscreens, and I've kind of felt this about them for a long time anyway. I just have known they haven't been good for you. I mean, there's some that are that are good. And I think this is one of them. I'm still learning, honestly. Like, I'm still learning all the facts. But this is a daily defense sunscreen balm. Protects from the sun, hydrates and restores. Uh, SPF 30. And it is non-nano with zinc oxide. It's a mineral sunscreen. So... 
in case you're kind of like wondering what kind of sunscreen do I use, from what I've been gathering, mineral is going to be the best kind and anything with that zinc oxide I think is also going to be on the better end of things. But here's what it looks like. And a little goes a long way on the face, by the way. So I know that this bottle will last a while. Plus it smells divine. It's like a hint of oranges and citrus and like summertime. I, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it, but I love the scent of this. All right, next up, I got this CeraVe healing ointment. I'm sure this stuff is at like Target and Walmart, um, but I did pick this up from Amazon and I actually got this for my hands. I wanna have like a nighttime routine, like a bedside nighttime routine. You know, after I've done my shower, skincare, whatever, while I'm chilling in bed, maybe I'm doing some scrolling, I want to do like a hand, nighttime hand routine. So that's what I've been trying to do. So I picked up this. I actually saw a lady do a video on like what she does, but she also does like a body scrub because it has like the sugar minerals. And if you're kind of an OG, you might have remembered the time that I did a video where I showed you how to make your skin look younger and it was like with salt and I don't remember what I used, some type of lotion, but really the salt is the same kind of concept as a body scrub. Anything that's gonna kind of like remove the dead skin. So anyways, got this for that. Next up, I finally got my rice cooker. I have been needing this thing for a while. I've actually have talked about it before. And the one, you don't know this because it just never came on camera, but the one that I bought a while back actually came broken. So I had to return it. I never replaced it at the time, but I got this one and it has like, a bunch of different settings so i went ahead and went with the pro one but there is like a version with this seller that's like one step down it's like just basic it's like ten dollars cheaper i almost went for that one but honestly for ten dollars more probably not even like i don't even know if it was worth it or not but there's some like extra settings for uh yeah steam and, and all kinds of things and let me tell you i need this i need this because i can't cook rice to save my life it's like a very fine like very small window whether it's undercooked or overcooked and the amount of water to rice rate mm, yeah i need this thing all right next up in a box so at this point i'm just going to start throwing up the photos but these are actually curtain rods i'm excited for these because finally i found curtain rods that are short enough that I don't have to saw them. That's actually what I was doing before. So if you follow all of my decorating videos, you already have a visual of what I've done in the previous house, but I actually don't like, I don't use curtains for privacy. So this really is gonna be dependent on what you want your curtains to serve, like what function you want them to serve. Do you want them to draw in for privacy? Then you're gonna need a whole curtain rod that goes across the whole length, right, of the window so you can pull them in. I don't, I don't care for that. I do, however, like curtains to frame the window. So instead of getting a long ass rod that I don't need, I just get short ones and I put them at the ends of the window so i really like the finish that i got it's kind of like a black bronzed finish and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have like all the curtain rods just kind of like match downstairs all right now that's oh also this little outfit which i'm gonna throw up a picture anyways because i'm kind of a little bit bloated but it's a little two-piece workout it's a uh, short set and i was specifically looking for a navy color I don't, this isn't quite what I define as navy. This is kind of like a mix somewhere between navy and cobalt. It has a little bit of a brightness to it. It goes really well with this hat. I mean, Florida Gators, but you guys know I bought this hat a long time ago. Um, and it just matches perfect with this, but I actually wanted it to match with 
a navy baseball cap that I have, like the New York Yankees and the Atlanta Braves hat. I was looking for a set that would match that, and this just came out too bright, but I still love it. It's very comfortable. This set comes in a bunch of different colors, and I get all of my little athletic sets from Amazon. All of them. Like, I'm obsessed. I... I see a lot of like other cute brands and maybe one day I'll like venture out, but for now, honestly, Amazon is where I go. All right, so now I have my phone and I'm just gonna go down the list and start throwing up pictures, hopefully in this like little section um, for like editing me. Cause if I'm like too centered, there's not enough space for the photo, but like whatever, you don't care. So um, actually I got this item. It is a TV cover for the outside definitely go watch my empty house tour. I'll link it down below so that you can see, but outside, which Mike is there right now, she's watching Star Wars. And we have a little outdoor fireplace and a TV. And uh, we had to replace the TV that was here uh, because it was completely fried. And um, so I said to myself, okay, we need to like prevent that as best as we can. So I got a cover plus the other day we had some type of little crazy thunderstorm. It literally blew my, um, what do you call it? My barbecue grill, completely flipped it upside down, threw it out into the yard. And then I noticed the rain was just kind of hitting the TV. So I was just like, um, so I needed to get a TV cover for it. All right, next is going to be a hammock. It's actually coming today, but even if I, had it today, I wouldn't have unboxed it. Like It's gonna take me a week to honestly get to it. You'll see in the photo, doesn't even matter what I'm saying. But I liked the color of the wood and I liked the color of the actual fabric of the hammock because it's going to match my outdoor furniture. Um, so we have a perfect spot for it. And if you follow my vlogs, if you subscribe to my vlogs, you'll see all of this content. So um, you'll see where it gets put in the yard. Um, Micah's very excited. She won, you know, we're, we've both been envisioning like ourselves reading out there on this hammock. All right, next up is actually a pair of like women's slippers. And if when, when you see it, you might have like have already seen it. I think they're kind of trendy. They kind of look like the cloud slippers. I do really like that look. I decided to go with black because black is my favorite color to wear but I almost did go for like the beigey brown ones. And then while I was looking at these, I found a two piece little set. It's like shorts and little, little crop top. Um, and I thought that the little slippers would go really well with this outfit. So I'm throwing up the outfit now. I also get this today, but it's not here yet. So the other thing that as I was shopping and I did this kind of like all on the same day on Amazon. So I got the slippers, I got the two piece outfit and there's this bag and I think I posted about it. I'm not sure where I posted about it. I, it might've been in the last Amazon haul or it might've been on Instagram, I don't remember. But there's this tote and it's actually, um, I think a dupe to a more expensive brand. I already forgot what that brand name is. I think it starts with a B, but they sell them at, I also saw a similar version of this at Walmart too, by the way, but I really like this black one that I saw on Amazon. So I got this really cute little tote bag that has like this like rubber plastic quality to the finish of it. Um, and then I think you can even add charms to like all those little holes. Um, at least with like this bigger name brand, they make like the tassels and things that you can link into these holes, kind of like if Crocs were a bag. So on that note, I was thinking of this tote and like the things that I would have liked, would like to put into it. And I actually realized, I was like, you know what? I was trying to think of like all my past beach trips, you know, for our family vacations and stuff like that. And I thought, I was thinking about my experience with my my bags and the sand and and the oils from the sunscreen and i said to myself i need something for my books um because i feel like they get kind of like oily and ruined a little bit and i didn't even know that a book sleeve was a thing and apparently it is a thing and of course i went with black but they make a ton of options on amazon with prints um 
So I got a book sleeve. Also, I got these little like, um, what are they? What are these called? Um, they're kind of like reusable Ziploc bags. Yeah, silicone food storage bags. But I got this set of three in a white specifically for the tote, whether I wanna pack like a sandwich or some candy or whatever. I thought three was a pretty good number, not necessarily for like a full beach day, but just like whenever I wanna just like hop to the beach and just kind of like read a book for an hour um, and have maybe like a sandwich or slices of oranges or whatever. So I got those for the tote as well. And then I think that's it for the whole slippers outfit. Ah, oh, I love black, like I don't even know what to <laughs> The next thing that I knew I really wanted for this house that I realized I wish I would have had in the last house was a bigger essential oil diffuser. Um, the one that I had, it just felt like, you know, it wasn't lasting as long and I really want to do more essential diffusers rather, essential oil diffusers rather than candles, even though I do have candles and I'll light them, but I can only do candles for like 15 to 20 minutes max before I just get a headache. All right, this next little two piece workout set I'm really excited about and I actually got the idea from Aerie or AmericanEagle.com on their Aerie site. So I, was on there because I saw a green little set and you guys will see it in the vlog once I get it in. But I was looking at these black shorts and the way the girl was wearing them in the photo, she was wearing biker shorts, kind of like the longer kind, but the biker shorts was like a fun print. And then she wore shorts over it and I thought it was so cute. It actually, oddly enough, was how I was wearing um, this little neon two-piece two pink workout set from Amazon that had white shorts on over it. Um, you would have seen it in a, like a vlog or whatever, or like the decorate with me of the living room. But regardless, this specific idea with the print, I got from the, the way this model was wearing it. So of course I hopped right on over on Amazon. And the first set that I saw was this cute little tie-dye moment and I just fell in love with it. And so I got the biker shorts and I got the matching sports bra and then I kind of envisioned myself wearing black like Terry shorts or like whatever they're called over it. I've noticed being here in Florida, I pretty much go everywhere in a sports bra and biker shorts. Like everywhere I go, I went and picked up my groceries at Walmart in my sports bra. And I mean, it's, listen, it's hotter in Texas, but for some reason here, I'm just like, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but I'm living for it. And I love that, I'm, I don't know, I can't explain it. I wish I could explain, is it like a Florida thing? I don't know, is it like you get here and it just like something happens and you just wear less clothes? I don't know what it is. All right, the next thing is a rug for the formal dining room. I mean, I'm gonna throw up the picture, but it's kind of hard to really see the quality of it, but it actually matches, I think, to the rug that I have in my laundry room, which was probably one of my favorite rugs in the entire house was the laundry room rug because it was just so beautiful such good quality and when i was looking at all the different type of rug options for this dining room and kind of thinking about how the whole space was going to look i knew i wanted to go for something neutral and i was i was honestly still having a hard time because i needed a very specific size for the dining room I was finding that the rugs that I had, which I think were an eight by 10, eight foot by 10 foot, they, that's what I have from the last house. They were too big for that dining room. So what I needed, I think was um, a seven by nine. And as I was kind of like trying to find the right rug with the right dimensions and it not being sold out, I found this one a little bit pricey, I'm not gonna lie. My pulse spiked when I hit purchase. And honestly, I look I looked at the button for a 
good long ass time. Like a good. And then you know when you just like, you squint and you click and you're like, oh my God, that's it. Like there it is. Next up is sunscreen. So essentially this is like for the face. And now I'm kind of like thinking about sunscreen and super goop. And I don't even know if they're, they're, they're good. Like, I don't know if the ingredients are good. I don't, I really, I really don't know y'all. Um, it says clean ingredients. So this could be a return. I might go for something better. And if you just happen to know one, one that's very healthy, no chemicals, no harsh ingredients. It's good for the ocean. It's not bad for like the coral reefs and things like that because they can, they can have that kind of impact from what I've read. Um, let me know. All right, next up. Not that exciting, but I did get some garden shears off of Amazon. Um, so there's that. Um, I also did get Loki some Frontline Plus for dogs, for just fleas and ticks. Um, really never needed that for Loxy. Never felt like I needed it for Loki. We just didn't have that problem where we lived, but where I live now and just like the wooded areas and just the sides with all the, I, I just don't know. So I feel like it's definitely one of those things where Loki needs to be armed for stuff like that now. So um, I did get the, the 89 to 132 pounds because I'm thinking at this point, this dog's gotta be 90. Mike and I were just talking about it too. I was like, I was looking at Loki and I was like, his legs are so long. Like he is getting tall. Um, and I asked Mike, I was like, do you think he's bigger than Loxy was? I like at this, she's like, yeah. So like Loki at nine months and he turned nine months on the second. He's at this point, he's, he's probably right. He, I think he may be like five pounds, maybe five, maybe 10. I'm making a big deal about this, but I don't think he's quite as big as Loxie was. Um, but for nine months to her nine years, I mean, Loki's gonna be massive. So anyways, point is, I do feel like I did get the right weight for that. All right, next up, I got another stamp and I actually bought this for the last house, but it's just for like mailing things. Um, I kind of went back and forth. Do I just want to order like the address stickers or the stamp? I actually really like the stamp. I enjoyed stamping things. So I'll just show you guys the stamp that I got. I really like the font and how it's done. I think it's the exact same one that I got at the last house. So I just got a new one with a new address. All right, so the next thing is still in a box. So I'm still gonna have to throw up a picture. And that is basically the entryway or entryway number one. There's two entryways. I just decorated number two. I know they're out of order, but I had all the pieces for number two. Number one required new things because the space is a lot smaller than what I had in the last house. So I'm having to buy new things for that space. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like because she is beautiful. She is so gorgeous and I do not tip it, I do not decorate in black. So you guys are going to see how this entryway is gonna turn out because it's going to be so beautiful, but it is black. It's actually a, considered a farmhouse piece. All right, next up, pretty random, but they are no-show high-waist briefs, underwear, I guess you could say. I actually love these and I had to include them today because I don't know that I've ever mentioned them, um, but I've bought several sets of these in the past and they are hands down my favorite underwear. Like I live in these um, and I needed a second set of the black, the all black. They are one, incredibly comfortable for me. I have to do everything high-waisted at this point. I don't know, I just like to feel the support on my pooch. I just love high-waisted things. I saw some video where they're like, oh, the, the low-rise jeans are coming back. I said, no, don't you dare. Don't you, don't you dare. Absolutely not. No, 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 they can stay. 
in 2005 where they belong, okay? Oh, you wanna say hi to everybody? Let's see, look how big I am, y'all. Oh, that went in my mouth. Okay, that was kind of disgusting. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. It's his nap time. He's tired. He likes his walks. You are, you are actually incredibly handsome. Like, don't let it go to your head, but you are very handsome, dude. He's watching the guy mow the lawn. <laughs> I need to do just like a Loki vlog where, oh God, the weight, you gotta push back. I need to do a Loki vlog, just, you don't see me at all, just, just Loki. I think I'm gonna do it. Um. All right, so where, where, where was I? I gotta scroll all the way back down. All right, so I got the underwear again. 10 out of 10, I'm telling you. Next up are some lampshades. So they're black, they're gorgeous. I actually have them, but I'm just gonna throw up a picture of them anyway. But knowing kind of how I wanted the entryway number one to turn out, I thought to myself, I need some new lamps. And then as I was going through all the other stuff that was no longer working, like if you guys remember in the living room, in the last house, how I had the console table set up compared to how I set it up here, you'll know that this console table now is backed up against the couch instead of a wall. And I already have lamps. So the lamps that were on it at the last house, not to confuse anybody, but you're probably following me if you if you know the whole setup. I had the mirror above the console table. Don't know where I'm gonna put that. And I had those tall skinny lamps. And so I was kind of going through everything and I said, those lamps actually have the perfect base color. And I said, let's just do new lampshades. So that's what we did. That's what we're gonna do. So you're gonna get the whole entryway decor with me soon. So there's that. All right, this next item I'm excited about, also still in the box. So I'm gonna throw up a picture of it here for you guys. But it's actually one of those like egg chairs that I feel like are very trendy and very popular. I did get mine from Amazon, but from what I've read, the ones from Walmart have gone like completely viral. Um, but I found mine on Amazon. And again, everything, everything I mentioned will be linked down below. I have a whole Amazon storefront too, so I do like to make sure I get every item um, categorized into certain lists for you guys. So like if you if you would rather just like go to my Amazon storefront and kind of check things out that way, instead of like individual links that I'll add down below, you can go to my Amazon storefront and then you can see living room items, kitchen items, uh, media room items. I have all these lists built out for you guys. Anyways, so this chair is actually gonna go up in my daughter's room. She has a balcony, which you guys didn't see from me because it wasn't part of the empty house tour, but I don't know if Micah's gonna do a tour, but she has a balcony up there and she needed some type of seating. And when we looked at everything, we went with the neck chair. We only went with one, even though I'm sure there's like room for two, but we went with one and I think she's gonna need a little table. And I thought two little honorable mentions, just two items that I'm still obsessed with till this day from Amazon. I'll probably always throw in these like little items that you've seen in past hauls. They show up when I do my Amazon favorites. So one being the Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. So this one, I love it. It's my, even though I have lipstick on, but like whatever, obsessed with this thing. And then this is my blush. It's also a lip balm as well. So it's a two, you can use it for lips or blush. And it smells divine. I know quite a few of you purchased this as well when I showed it to you. And I wanna know, comment, do you love the smell of it? Cause scent is gonna be, you know, to each his own kind of thing. For me, I love the smell of this. It smells like Tropical citrus. I don't even know. I, I honestly don't even know what to say about it, but 
Anyways, love this stuff. I will link it down below. I know it comes in multiple colors. So like I said, I will link everything individually down below, but my Amazon storefront is always linked. It's like permanently linked in my descriptions, FYI. So you can just go visit the whole thing. You can scroll through all the things I add. Plus, what you don't know is as I'm buying, I'm already adding to my list. So you kind of like get a peek into into things that I haven't shown in videos yet, I guess you could say. So that's it. I had so much fun sitting here. It's probably gonna be a longer video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.